One of my favorite things about things for the Mac is the quick entry field. So if you do control spacebar, by default, things will bring up this nice little window where you can write, do the thing and enter any notes. You can tab through here, assign it to certain days, whatever you want. You can do smart language. So um, let's do uh, Sunday 4 p.m. And so it'll make it for Sunday at 4 p.m. And then you can assign tags, add it to or create checklists add deadlines and assign it to specific projects. So you can do all that from here. And this is really nice for quickly jotting down thoughts and things that you need to do in the future. To make sure you have this turned on, you just go to things, go to your settings, and then there's a quick entry setting here and make sure that this is enabled. It's gonna to default to the control space shortcut, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. And then the one I really like is this quick entry with autofill. And so this will take what you're looking at in your browser. Specifically, this will work in Safari and Chrome, and it should work in other browsers, uh, but it doesn't work in Edge uh, at the moment. But it will let you take basically whatever website you're looking at and autofill all that information we just looked at. And so to make this happen, you have to go and install this helper app. And so that will kind of do some logic on the back end of your computer to make sure that it's able to pull the information from your browser quickly. Um, and what when you do, you basically go to the site and download it and it kind of shows you how it works. But what you can do with this is say, I'm looking at this website and I'm gonna go back to things real quick, close this, I'm looking at my inbox. I'm on this website and I wanna look at this later and I wanna add it quickly. So what I can do is hit that control option space. There it is. And then I hit enter to save it. And in things it's already here and you can see it with the name of the website and the link to it and everything. And I can do whatever I want with it. Now that was a little fast. So let's go back to one of my blog posts and to do it again. So control option space. And there you go. So this is the name of the site. You'll see that in the tab up there. And then it redoes the name of the site and then the URL. So just like everything else, you can assign a day to it. You can assign it to a project. All this good stuff works. So this is really convenient, really nice for just saving things for later. So I already saved that first page, but let's say I need want to save these two pages for later. I just do the shortcut, hit enter, do the shortcut, hit enter. And then when I hide this, I can see these in things and then I can move them to projects, whatever I want to do. Maybe uh, the this one is on my shopping list. Uh, this one is on my reading list. And then this one is on my reading list as well. So I'm able to filter them really nicely, really quickly using the quick entry tool in things.